In tonight's Health Watch, big holiday feasts and festive parties are on many calendars, and eating right can be a big challenge. So we talked with a doctor at Southwest Washington Medical Center and got four tips to keep in mind when it comes to eating right over the holidays. I'd like to try and get people to focus on, on eating healthful foods throughout this period. First and foremost would be uh, fruits and vegetables. You really can't eat too many of them. Uh, you know, the current recommendation is nine servings a day. Um, that's pretty hard to get to, but at least try and aim for five. Um, and, and, the, and as raw as possible. So, you know, citrus fruits are very good this year, uh, time of year. Um, uh, vegetables, root vegetables, uh, squash. Uh, and the more vegetables you eat, then, too, the more you're full and, and, and less apt to eat food that's not good for you. I try and maintain fiber, um, uh, hearty breads, whole grain breads, a great time of year to have homemade soup with them. I would avoid canned and pre-processed foods as much as possible because they have salt and that's another area where people get into trouble. Uh, but I certainly think like a homemade vegetable soup is, is great with, uh, with some kind of hearty whole grain bread. Um, hot cereals, uh, it's a wonderful time of year for that. Good fiber uh, associated with you know, cream of wheat, oatmeal, um, and, and um, you get clear health benefits, lowering cholesterol, et cetera, from using that. We all know that, you know, everybody, myself included, will uh, probably have something they shouldn't. Um, and, and that's part of what the fun is of the holidays, I think, uh, to some degree. But I would say this, if you're going to do that, I would recommend you thoroughly slow down and enjoy every bite because this, at least for me, this is the one time a year that I have stuffing and gravy and turkey like that. And, you know, the slower you can eat it and enjoy it and savor it, uh, obviously the more time, too, that your brain can signal you that you've had enough and you may, you know, at least pass on the third helping, uh, if not the second. And all it requires is walking. Uh, uh, walking has been associated with dramatic reduction in events. So after your holiday dinner, after uh, Thanksgiving, you know, go for a stroll. Uh, try and maintain a walk at least six days a week, half hour, more is better, 40 minutes, an hour, whatever you can do. And, and the rain should be no excuse. We're all, you know, living in the Northwest. We expect this. This is not a surprise. Um, and. Um, you know, if you don't have good rain, you're ask, ask for a gift. But, uh, but there's no really good excuse to stop exercising and, um, and eating right for the most part. Some good advice. If you'd like recipes for a healthy holiday dinner, log on to kptv.com slash swhealth.